Good morning. Today I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood. This is one of my favorite theme parks in the greater LA area. I've been here a couple times before mainly just to go on rides, but today it's all about the food. First stop, and I missed this last time, Harry Potter World, get myself a butter beer. My Harry Potter feast is completed. Pretty much ordered everything on the menu. Butter beer. I think this is pear cider, fizzy pumpkin drink, frozen butter beer. <laughs> Wait till you see the food. This is this is pretty crazy. Uh, I got shepherd's pie. Oh, right here. This is the smallest of the food items. Bangers and mash. And this is called the Great Feast. I don't know who invited broccoli to the Great Feast. Broccoli should never be part of the Great Feast. Now it's just like. A feast. Corn, potatoes, chicken, ribs, broccoli, carrots. This definitely looks like something that is for growing kids. And with the great feast comes with the great plate of salad that nobody ordered. They said a house salad. I'm thinking like a little bowl. Not in Harry Potter world. First of all, my first sip of butter beer. Uh, the reason I never had this before is because I, I thought it was actual beer. <laughs> I didn't know. I did not know. I just learned this was not, this is not alcoholic. Oh, well, that's just delicious. Like super foamy. It tastes like cream soda. I think this is cream soda with like a lot of foam on top. That's delicious though. Fish and chips first, just because I don't want this to get soggy. Still a little bit crunchy. Ooh, nice big chunks of fish inside. There's a lot of batter on this thing. I wonder how this is. Oh, that is pretty good. I mean, it's slightly doughy, but the batter is so light. Maybe there's the same batter they used to, to make the broomsticks. I don't know, it's just so incredibly light. The fish is giant chunks of flaky cod. It's meaty, it's delicious. This is really good fish and chips. I've had worse fish and chips in restaurants. In terms of chips, potato wedges, who doesn't love that? Really wanted to try the shepherd's pie. I'm a huge fan of shepherd's pie. The crust is kind of hard now because I, I mean, partially that is due to, I am sitting outside. Ground meats on the bottom. This looks good. Yeah, this is good. Potatoes are so soft and fluffy. Meat is awesomely seasoned. A little spicy, a little smoky. Nice subtle crunch from the peas and carrots. I'm not an expert on shepherd's pie. I just know it tastes good. And this tastes good. They give you so much salad though in this place. Everywhere you look, a lot of salad. I had to get some bangers and mash. Bangers look delicious. Soaked in gravy, potatoes, and peas. I think a little sauerkraut on the side. This is good. Really, really good. The bangers are so flavorful. Sorry, this is not, this is a side of cabbage, okay? It's not a side of Side of cabbage with the potatoes and peas. That's gonna give your taste buds enough of a break. So you're not kind of overwhelmed by the heavy stuff on the plate, but this is delicious. I'm not a big fan of peas, but that sausage is amazing. All right, it is time ooh, to take down the great feast. This is definitely super intimidating. It's a platter for four. Again, corn. Tons of carrots and broccoli. This is, I don't really get this. I mean, there's so much better vegetables than carrots and broccoli. Tons of barbecue, oh, roast chicken. That's not bad. I thought it was gonna be the driest thing I put in my mouth today. The meat is actually really tender. The skin itself is delicious. Mm. Really well seasoned. Chase it with some potatoes. Potatoes are a little dry. Oh, chicken is good. Let's take a look at the ribs. So this is a platter for four. You can add on to it. So you could potentially make this platter. Maybe it's like a platter for 20, I don't know. Whoa, 
one of the tenderest grips I found in recent days was at Harry Potter World <laughs> Universal Studios Board in Universal Studios. What is this wizardry? It is so soft and tender. Barbecue sauce is tangy. Got a ton of heat. Mm. Oh wow, this is great. Wow, this barbecue sauce is so good. What I recommend, take a bite of the barbecue ribs. Chase it with some chicken. Rub some of that barbecue sauce on the chicken. This sauce is really, really good. Mm. The sauce is so good, I might actually have to eat the pieces of broccoli that touch the sauce. $60 for four people, not a bad deal. Mm. Corn is good, and you get a giant plate of salad. It's actually really not a bad deal. Oh, my dessert is melting. This is the sticky toffee pudding. Of course, uh, the ice cream on top was much bigger. Oh, there's toffee is stuffed into this pudding. Look at this, all stuffed in the middle. That's kind of a melty mess now. That's delicious. Oh, they put butters on top of this as well. This thing just tastes like a crunchy topped toffee filled bread pudding and it is absolutely delicious. Would have tasted better if the ice cream didn't completely melt. But even when my ice cream is just like in this melty mesh, still so good. Oh, this is a must try. This is delicious. Not bad, Harry Potter world. I got another dessert, but before getting to that, check out the drinks I got. So showed you guys the butter beer. This is a frozen butter beer. So they froze the butter beer and put an ice cream on top, I think. Oh, this is so good. This is better than the regular butter beer. Must get when you come here. Refreshing and delicious. Mmm. Maybe not the best to get like sitting outside in the cold, but wow, that's yummy. Also got fizzy pumpkin juice. Tastes like a liquidy pumpkin pie soda pop. Also, they have a pear cider. This is good. This is called a fishy green ale. It's green and it looks like there's some boba on the bottom. This is so yummy. I don't know what this is exactly. I mean, this thing, it tastes a little minty. There's definitely cinnamon in here. That's delicious. Is this boba? Oh, it is. So I guess this symbolizes uh, frog eggs. Oh, it's popping boba. This is being Harry Potter frequented boba tea shops. Give this a try. This is actually really, really good. One last dessert, butter beer, pot of cream. Whoa, it's like a toffee caramel pudding. Ooh, that is really sweet though. I think the first bite was really good. After that, I definitely need some water. On a scale of one to 10, I'm nine, three quarters impressed. I've seen every single Harry Potter movie, but I wouldn't call myself a Potterhead. I'm more like a hot pothead. I mean, this is so intricate. There's a giant Hogwarts. There's a giant castle. The town looks really awesome. Seating area is cool. The food is great. Well, it's a really fun experience. Fan The Simpsons, always wanted my own giant donut. This is a ginormous, ginormous donut. <clears throat> Excuse me. You would think a giant donut like this may not taste so good. I think it's a good donut. Now I just wish I had this giant bowl of coffee or soy milk to dip this thing in. This is a pretty good donut. No, seriously. Not really airy and fluffy. The frosting is good too. I mean, I know it's a novelty item and all that. And it's fun to eat something that's bigger than your face. Actually a tasty donut. Again, they really should just sell a giant cup of coffee or tea. Couple items here at the Minion Cafe. I get a grilled cheese pulled pork sandwich. The cheese is not 
I don't even know if this is grilled. The cheese is, it just looks like a cheese sandwich. It's sliced cheese. This thing, this is way better than I thought. This is way better than I thought. This is actually pretty darn good. All because of the pulled pork. Wow, that pulled pork is juicy. I did not expect this. Look how easily this pork breaks apart. You see that? This thing is juicy, it's tender. I mean, the cheese is American sliced cheese, whatever, it's fine. This is such a delicious pulled pork. I'm adding some banana barbecue sauce on top. This pulled pork is so good. I was all ready to destroy the sandwich because it just doesn't look appetizing. That pork saved everything. Those minions can barbecue. Mmm. Huh. That tastes like chalk. But wow, that pulled pork is good. I don't know why I keep getting ramen at, at amusement parks. I mean, it didn't turn out well in Disney. I don't know why I think Universal is gonna be better, but everyone was getting it. I kind of just got caught up a little bit. Chashu on top, oh, that is a hard boiled egg on top. And this, oh, this is for sure instant noodles. Yeah, that tastes like water. That expectation was met. Okay, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Oh, that's just the worst one I've ever had in my life. Instant noodles, super soggy. This thing was 15 bucks. That was actually not too bad. I mean, I'll give credit where it's due. Minions are good at cooking pork. Noodles, not so much at all. Ugh, that's so bad. But that chashu is delicious. Doing a studio you. tour. Last but not least, you want to watch Love your this. arms and legs over on the left hand. From ABC's I just Desperate my GoPro Housewives. The, where, where there's flooding in the tour. If there is one I dropped thing it there. everyone in suburbia can appreciate, <laughs> it's a good name. Hopefully I'll get it back. So it was They found the GoPro, thankfully. It was submerged in water um, on, the, on, the, on the studio ride. But a quick food review of Universal Studios here in Los Angeles. I was gonna go to one more place, the, uh, I was gonna go to Jurassic Cafe, um, but it was closed at like four o'clock. But I think, honestly, some good food, go to Harry Potter. Pretty good, you know, have a good time. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.